Hi everyone, my name is Juliana Gross and I'm a professor for planetary sciences at Rutgers University in New Jersey and currently I'm also the deputy curator for the Apollo Moon Rocks at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Now as the deputy curator, uh, I get to protect and preserve and work with these special rocks that the astronauts brought back from the moon around 50 years ago. This is where all these samples come from. I'm also involved in missions that are going back to the moon and that is the Artemis mission. The Artemis mission will bring the first woman and the next man back to the moon in just four years and we're going to go here, somewhere around the South Pole. Now the cool part about the Artemis missions is that we can uh, use it to learn how to work and live on another planetary body, the moon, and then apply that knowledge and use it to send humans all the way to Mars. And I'm heavily involved in helping to train the astronauts and I'm really excited about that. Now, besides working on rocks from the moon, I also work with rocks from Mars and you can probably tell that I really like rocks. Rocks are like books. They contain and store knowledge and information on the inside of how they formed, where they come from, uh, what a planet looks like on the inside. And my job as a planetary scientist is it to learn how to read these rocks, these rock books, if you want to say that. I have all these fancy instruments and complicated machines that I can use to extract the information that is stored on the inside of these rocks and so that I can gain that knowledge and then figure out how planets form, what Mars looks like on the inside, where all the water is on Mars, what volcanoes look like on Mars, and so on. Now a little bit about me, you probably have already picked up on this. Uh, sometimes I speak a little funny and that's because I was not born in this country. I'm actually German and I was born in Germany. Uh, I grew up there, I went to school and then I went to university in Germany and I got my PhD in earth geology there. Uh, and then after that I came to the United States and I switched from earth geology and looking at earth rocks to planetary geology and now I'm looking at planetary rocks, rocks from space. And I really love doing that. Now I know that there are a lot of opportunities in this country if you are interested in science and in planetary science specifically. NASA has these wonderful summer camps for children. There are high school internships that you can apply to for NASA, at NASA. Um, in college you can take planetary classes. Um, and the Lunar and Planetary Institute has a, a summer internship for college students that you can also apply for. So I would really encourage you all to check this out. But um, just as a reminder, if you don't have many or any of these opportunities or you're an immigrant like me, don't worry about it. I never had any of these opportunities and I still became a great scientist. Because the characteristic of a really good scientist um, are curiosity and trying to figure wanting to try to figure how tr trying to figure out how things work and hard work so if you are really curious and you like exploring and you like um, to try to figure how th out how things work then you already are a scientist at heart um, and so my advice for you would be just follow your heart follow your passion um, go explore work hard never ever give up um, and then and then you will be great you will be great at whatever you become and you can go out there and change the world and maybe even go and change Mars. And I really hope that some of you will become astronauts and go to Mars. And if you do go to Mars, just remember one thing, please bring me back a rock. <laughs>